Hello and welcome everyone to the daily news analysis of 20th of February 2024. So, today's important article one by one discuss करते हैं हिंदू न्यूज़ पेपर से. तो पहला जो आर्टिकल है, let's proceed with IMEC. Despite Gaza war, says Greek PM Prime Minister, Manipur High Court withdraws content as part of its order on ST tag for MPs. Then government approves 100% FDIs in space sector. Then ISRO key tests over. CE20 cryogenic is now human related for Gaganian mission, ending discriminations on financial devolution among states. Fali Nariman, who advocated for an independent judiciary, dies. India China holds the 21st round of military talks to resolve the standoff. First article, let's proceed with IM. EC despite Gaza war, says Greek Prime Minister. Despite the Israel war in Gaza, destabilizing plans for the India Middle East Economic Corridor (IMEC), <coughs> India and Greece should preserve with the peace project," said Greek Prime Minister Kyriakos Mistotakis here. Mr. Mistotakis, who discussed the project among other plans. To strengthen ties in trade and migration with Prime Minister Narendra Modi during his visit to India, also inaugurated the annual Raisana dialogue here on Wednesday. The war in Gaza and the turmoil in the Middle East is undoubtedly destabilizing, but it does not undermine the powerful logic behind IMEC, nor should it weaken our resolve to, to, our, to work towards real, real, realizing it. Mr. Misto Takis told a gathering of international delegates at, at the conference organized by Minister of External Affairs and Observer Researcher Research Foundation, which include several foreign ministers, mainly from European countries. Groundbreaking projects like IMEC holds hold great promise to suppress so, supercharge connectivity between India, the growth economics of the Middle East and Europe to India. I say Greece is your natural doorstep to Europe and beyond, he said, adding that as the country controlling the world's biggest merchant shipping fleet, Greece's geographical position makes it an obvious partner in the project. During Talks earlier in the day with Mr. Modi, Mr. Misto Takis also discussed doubling trade with India, finalizing a mobility and migration part, pact to regulate legal migration as well as cooperation on co production and co development on military hardware. At a media event after talks, Mr. Modi said Greece had decided to join the Indo Pacific Ocean. Initiative launched by India. Launched during India's G20 chairmanship, the IMEC corridor will contribute significantly to the development of humanity in the long, long run. Greece can also become an important partner in this initiative, he added. While the IMEC MOU launch took place in September 2023 during the G20 summit in New Delhi, the founding member of the initiative, including India, European Union, France, Germany, Italy, Mauritius, the UAE and Saudi Arabia have been unable to meet and stipulated by the MOU for the past six months due to the conflict in Gaza. Israel's Hafia Haifa port owned by India's Adani Group was expected to be a key trading point for the ship and rail route proposed under IMEC from the India's west coast through the UAE and Saudi Arabia to Jordan, Israel before reaching Greece, Piraeus port on the rest of Europe. <coughs> Railway construction. When asked about the hiatus in IMEC talks, Foreign Secretary Binoy Patra said that while the core group had been unable to meet due to the ongoing conflict, recent bilateral talks between the India and the UAE had focused on railway construction in the UAE by India's rights. He also pointed to talks with the France Prime President Emmanuel Macron in January on the issue. The next article is Manipur High Court withdraws content as part of its order on ST tag for MIPIS. A bench of the Manipur High Court on Wednesday modified its own March 27, 2023 order ordering the removal of paragraph 17 plus 
third eye which has instructed the manipur government to manipur government to consider the inclusion of maithis in the list of scheduled tribes this direction is said to have triggered the ongoing ethnic conflict between the maithis and the tribal koki koki jo community in the state the content yes paragraph said the state government shall consider the case of a petition also for inclusion of the maithi maithi community in the scheduled tribe list expeditiously a direction that the supreme court had called into question so when tribal bodies appealed the high court high court's order last year when the order by single judge bench of the then acting chief justice mb murli dharan was made public and within days of violence breaking out tribal bodies such as the such as the all manipur tribal students union were quick to appeal the entity entirely entirety of the march 2023 order in the high court but after the after a significant delay the original maithi petitioner petitioner in the case filed a review petition seeking only that the paragraph 17 clause third i be modified file me objecting to the tribal bodies right to file an appeal the appeal filed by the tribal bodies is pending before a bench led by the chief justice siddharth mridul and is set to come up for a hearing on thursday the review petition of maithi petitioner was the, in the meantime had heard and decided by bench of justice golmei gaiful silo which dismissed the tribal bodies application to be implemented in the case and delivered its order on wednesday i am satisfied in the view that the directions given by the at paragraph number 17 clause third i of the honorable single judge dated 27 Third of four, 2023 needs to be reviewed as the direction is against the observation made in made in the constitution's bench of the honorable supreme court the court noted while the maithi petitioner said called for a change in the language allowed allowing for the state government to exercise its discretion the court decided to delete the said paragraph altogether while paragraph 17 clause third i was removed on wednesday Previous paragraph of the March 2023 order has also directed the Manipur government to submit the recommendations to in the reply reply to the Union government. The next article: the government approves 100 percent FDI in space sector. <coughs> Prime Minister Narendra Modi led the Union Cabinet on Wednesday to a series of key decisions which included the approval for amendment to the existing foreign direct investment policy on space sector under the amendment amended policy 100% FDI is all is allowed in space sector the liberalized entry routes are aimed to attract potential investor to invest in India Indian companies in space said Union Minister Anurag Thakur the amended policy extended the facility of up to 74% of FDI under the automatic route for satellite manufacturing and operation satellite data products and ground user segments before 74% these activities are under government route up to 49% FDI under the automatic route will be allowed for launching launch vehicle and associated systems for or sub systems and creation of space ports for launching and receiving space craft beyond 49% these activities will be under government route mr thakur said up to 10 100% FDI under the automatic route would be permitted for the manufacturing of components and systems of systems for satellites ground segments and user segments this increased private sector participation would help to generate employment enable modern technology absorption and make the sector self reliant he said it is expected <coughs> to in in integrate india's companies into global value chain so this companies will be able to set up their manufacturing facility within the country the minister added the satellite sub sectors has been divided into three different activities with demand limits for foreign investment in such in each such sectors as per the existing fdi policy foreign investment is allowed in establishment and operation of satellites visa via government approval route only 
नेक्स्ट आर्टिकल है इसरो की टेस्ट ओवर सीई ट्वेंटी क्रायोजेनिक इंजन इज नाउ ह्यूमन रिलेटेड फॉर गगनयान मिशन इंडियन स्पेस रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इसरो हैज एकम्प्लिश्ड ए मेजर माइल स्टोन इन द ह्यूमन रेटिंग ऑफ इट्स सी ट्वेंटी क्रायोजेनिक इंजन दैट पावर द क्रायोजेनिक स्टेज ऑफ द ह्यूमन रिलेटेड एल बी एम लॉन्च व्हीकल फॉर गगनयान मिशन विथ कम्प्लीशन ऑफ द फाइनल राउंड ऑफ क्वालिफिकेशन टेस्ट इसरो पोस्टेड ऑन एक्स मिशन गगनयान इसरो सीई ट्वेंटी क्रायोजेनिक इंजन इज नाउ ह्यूमन रिलेटेड फॉर गगनयान मिशन रिगरस टेस्टिंग डेमोस्ट्रेट्स इंजन मेटल द सीई ट्वेंटी इंजन आइडेंटिफाइड फॉर द फास्ट ऑन क्रूड फ्लाइट एल बी एम थ्री जी वन ऑल्सो वेन्ट थ्रू एक्सेप्टेंस टेस्ट ह्यूमन रेटिंग रेफर्स टू रेटिंग ए सिस्टम दैट इज कैपेबल ऑफ सेफ्टी ट्रांसपोर्टिंग ह्यूमन्स फाइनल टेस्ट वर टेस्ट वॉज कैरिड आउट ऑन फेब्रुआरी थर्टीन इट वॉज इट वॉज द सेवेंथ इन ए सीरीज ऑफ फैकम इग्निशन टेस्ट कैरिड आउट एट द हाई अल्टीट्यूड टेस्ट फैसिलिटी एट इसरो प्रपल्शन कॉम्प्लेक्स महेंद्र गिरी टू स्टिपुलेट फ्लाइट कंडीशन एट द ग्राउंड क्वालिफिकेशन टेस्ट ऑफ द सीई ट्वेंटी इंजिन For the Gaganyaan program have been successfully completed the qualif to qualify the CE twenty engine for human rating standards for engine have undergone thirty nine hot firing tests under different operation operating conditions for a cumulative durations of eight thousand eight hundred ten seconds against the minimum human rating qualifications standards standard requirement of six thousand three hundred fifty seconds. Isro has also successfully completed the. Acceptance test of the flight engine identified for the first unmanned Gaganyaan mission tentatively scheduled for Q2 of 2024. The next article is ending ending discriminations. The Supreme Court of India has come out heavily against another archaic idea of the patriarchal overtones by observing that rules which penalize women employees for getting married are unconstitutional, terminating employment because the woman has got married is a court's case of gender discrimination and inequality. Acceptance of such a patriarchal rules undermines human dignity, right to non-discrimination, and fair treatment to the observation where part of the part of an order which upheld the rights of selena john a former lieutenant and permanent commissioner officer in the military nursing services who was discharged from the service in 1988 for getting married a bench headed by justice sanjeev khanna directed the union government of government to pay mrs john john 60 lakh rupees in compensation within the 8 weeks the government had <coughs> appealed in the top court against a decision of the lucknow bench of the armed forces tribunal which had ruled in her favor in 2016 pointing out that her dismissal was wrong and illegal <coughs> the court noted that the rule against marriage was applicable only to women nursing officers women had been fighting along and of hill battle for gender parity in the army they were granted permanent commission after judgment in 2020 2021 and words to the effect that to affect that the indian army is encouraging more women to join the forces have to be backed by deeds if not that the civilian space is much better off and women are often asked to come uncomfortable personal questions at job interviews they are quizzed about future plans on marriage and motherhood if labor participation of women in the workforce has increased to increase in the latest periodic labor force data october december 2023 india is the is at the abysmal 19.9% for women of all ages then by barrier in education employment and opportunity not to talk of a bullying mindset have to be broken down it is a fact that many girls especially among the poor have to drop out of schools for various reasons from economic to lack of proper toilet the union united nations gender snapshots 2023 had provided a grim picture of the of where the world is on gender parity 
pointing out that if course corrections measures are not taken the next generation of women will still spend a disproportionate amount of time on housework and duties compared to men and stay stay of leadership rules the schemes routinely announced by the government for girls and women will mean little on the ground if they have to abide by restrictive social and cultural norms the courts are word of that rules make making marriage of women employees and their domestic involvement a ground for decent decent entitlement are on constitutional should be heard by all organizations so that the workplace be, becomes an enabler and not a hurdle <coughs> The next article is on financial devolution among states. Recent, this, recently, various opposition ruled states, especially from South India, have claimed that they have been not been receiving their fair share as per. <coughs> The present scheme of financial devolution, they have raised issues about their less than proportionate share of received in tax revenue when compared to their contribution towards tax collections, what is divisible poll tax. Article 270 of the Constitution provides for the scheme of distribution of net tax proceeds collected by the union government between the center and the states. The taxes that are shared between the center and the states, including corporation. Corporation tax, personal income tax, central GST, the center's share of the integrated goods and service taxes. The division is based on the recommendation of the Finance Commission so that each constituted every five years as per the terms of Article 280. Apart from the share of taxes, states are also provided grants in aid as per the recommendation on the of the FC, the divisible pool, however, does not include assess and surcharges. That are levied by the center. How is the finance commission? The finance commission is constituted every five years and is a body that is exclusively constituted by the union government. It consists of a chairman and four other members who are appointed by the president. The finance commission, the Miscellaneous Provision Act 1951, has specified the qualification for chairman and other number of commissions. The union government has notified the constitution. Of the 16th Finance Commission under the chairmanship of Dr. Arvind Panagaria for making its recommendation for the period of 2026-31, what is the basis of for allocation the share of the state for the division pool vertical devolution standard 41% as per the recommendation of the 15th Finance Commission? The distribution among the states horizontal devolution is based on various criteria table 1 list of the criteria for horizontal devolution among the states from the 11th to 15th finance commission so the criteria as for the 15th finance commission can be briefly explained as follows income distance is the distance of the states income from the state with highest per capita income which is Haryana state with low per capita income would be given higher to higher share to maintain equity among states population is the pop <coughs> population is the population as per the 2011 census till 14 finance commission weightage was given for the population as per the 1971 census but that has been Discontinued in 15th Finance Commission, forest and ecology considered the share of the dense forest of each state in, in the aggregate dense forest of all states. The demographic performance the criterion has been introduced to reward efforts made by states in controlling their population. States with a lower fertility ratio will be secured higher on, the, on this creation tax efforts as a criterion has been used to reward states with higher tax collection efficiency. What are the issues? The constitutional scheme has always favored a strong center in legislative, administrative and financial relations. However, federalism is a basic feature and it is important that the state do not feel short changed when it comes to distribution of, distribution of resources file. There are Always political difference between the union government and opposition ruled states that exacerbate the problem there were there 
आर जेन्युन इश्यूज दैट नीड टू बी कंसीडर फास्टली क्लास एंड सर्चार्ज कलेक्टेड बाय द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट इज एस्टिमेटेड एट अराउंड ट्वेंटी थ्री परसेंट अफ इट्स ग्रोस टैक्स रिसिप्ट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव हुई डज नट फॉर्म पार्ट ऑफ द डिविजिबल पुल एंड हेन्स नॉट शेयर विद स्टेट टू प्रोवाइड द परसपेक्टिव ऑफ द टोटल टैक्स रेवेन्यू फॉर द इयर ट्वेंटी 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 थ्री 2023-2024 revised estimate and 24-25 budget estimates of union government of is 30.5 rupees and 34.5 rupees, 4 rupees and 38.8 lakh rupees, lakh crore rupees respectively. The state's share was in 9.5 and 11.0 and 12.2 lakh crore rupees respectively, which constitute around. 32% of the total tax received of the center which is way less than 41% recommendation by the 15th finance commission says like the gst compensation says is for the repayment of loans taken to compensate states for the shortfall of the in tax collection due to this implementation for the period 2017 2022 Some of these amounts are also used for centrally sponsored schemes that benefit the states. However, the states have no control over these components. Secondly, the amount each state gets back for each rupee they contribute to the central tax so steep variations chart one depicts the same for the 21-22. It can be seen that industrially developed states received much less than a rupee for the states. For every rupee they contribute as against states like Uttar Pradesh and Bihar, this is partly due to the fact that many corporations are headquartered in these states' capital, where they would remit their direct taxes. However, there these variations can also attributed to the different the difference in GST collection collection among the various states. Third, the percentage share in the divisible pool of taxes has been reducing for. Solution states, southern states, over the last six financial FCs, and they can be seen in chart two. This is attributed the attributable to the higher weightage between the given equity in income gap and net population area and forest than the efficiency demography performance and the tax efforts. Finally, grants in the aid as per the recommendation of the FC various. Varies among the various states as per the 15th Finance Commission. There are revenue deficit sectors specific and state specific grants given to various states as well as grants to logical bodies that are given based on the population and area of the states. It must be noted that states generate around 40 percent of the revenue and bear around 60 percent of the expenditure. The FC is a If the FC and its recommendation has meant to access this well imbalance and propose a fair sharing mechanism, it is the responsibility of all states to contribute towards the more equitable development of our country. However, there are three important reforms that may be considered for maintaining the balance between the equity and federalism while sharing revenue. Firstly, the divisible pool can be enlarged by the including the including some portion of sales and surcharges in it. The center should also gradually discontinue various excesses and surcharges it imposes by the suitable rationalizing the tax laws. Secondly, the weightage of deficiency of criteria in horizontal evaluation should be increased. GST being a consumption-based destination tax that is equally divided in between the union and the state means that the state GST actual including of integrated GST settlement. On the interstate sales should be the same as the center central GST accrual from the from a state. Hence, relative GST contribution from the states can be included as a criterion for criterion by providing suitable weightage in future FCs. Finally, similar to the GST council, a more formal arrangement for the participation of the states states in the constitution and working. of the fc should be considered these are measures that need to be implemented by the center after discussion with all the states it is also imperative that the states uphold the principle of fiscal federalism by the devolving adequate resources to local bodies for vibrant and accountable development the next article <coughs> 
Ali Nadiman who advocated for the independent judiciary died. <coughs> Ali Sam Nariman, prominent sent sentinel on the cube hype for the secular values, died on Wednesday. He was an 95. I have been brought up to think and feel that the minorities, together with the majority community, and are an integral part of India. I have lived to lived and flourished in a secular India in the fullness of time. If God wills, I would also like to die in a secular India. The eminent jurist. Wrote in the final chapter, chapter of his autobiography for memory forms. Nariman was the senior, senior most advocate for the independence of the judiciary. He would time and again highlight in his arguments in the Supreme Court's numerous media interviews and public speeches that fair and independent judges were a basic feature of the Constitution. He was over the Supreme Court and its culture and a steady trajectory with the IG. Mellowed by years and a patient heart, judges looked up to him and admitted so too. Some Sabri Mala case when he criticized the Supreme Court for the converting Sabri Mala case reviewed into a reviewing injury into the essential religious practices of minority religions like Islam and the Jurastriyajim by a nine judge bench. The then Chief Justice of India S. A. Bobde agreed that he had a powerful argument there. He had dis disapproved of judgment seeking jobs of or a seat in the parliament from the government. He feared that such post retirement deliance affected public faith in judicial sanctity. God saved the Supreme Court, a book he authored the same year as the Unprecedented press conference held by the four senior judges in the January 2018 did not mind what he said was lacking in the Supreme Court was a collegium collegiatory among judges. He conveyed his displeasure to the Chief Justice S. H. Kapadia when the latter had sought his assistance to frame restrictive guidelines to the press covering the Supreme Court as a citizen. He campaign free speeches but made it a point to say that the press must serve the governed not those who govern he had resigned as additional solicitor general of india with a long line letter addressed to the law minister after the imposition of a censorship during the emergency unfortunately we keep forgetting of forgetting the of part in the of the people by the people and for the people if the government is indeed for the people it has a solemn obligation to keep the people well informed he once wrote the hindu the constitutional lawyer poked hole in the government claims in the court that the national judiciary appointment commission was the will of the people and the nation wants it, I, I may be permitted somewhat impermanently to ask which nation, the nation of the haves and the nation of the have nots. No one have yet devised a reliable method of asserting that the wishes of the people remain quib. He criticized the center's deliberate in inactions and delay over the Supreme Court Collegium's recommendations. The government, he said, ought to be a distinguished communicator. He took criticism on the chin to comments that he should never have appeared for the Union Abide Corporation in the Bhopal Gas Tragedy Civil. S.S. Nariman said one got wiser through the not necessarily with age. Why humor? A recounter his stories ranged from his palios flight, flight from the Burma to India as a child to his sharing half a seat in the chamber of the Sir Jamsedji Kanga as a judicial junior lawyer in Bombay High Court. He very, he very, his very self this precatory human usually caused a serious message. Consider his anecdote of the Vice President B.S. Sekhawat visiting him at the home after he owned the Padma Vibhushan 22nd highest civilian honor in 2007 to say, I have come to tell you that my 
own doctor as well as the president doctor was given a republic day award a telecommend down the system of patronage behind the awards and everyone who tenure rajasabha rajasabha member saw him speaking of against the killing during the gujarat riots method amused he preferred the indian version of lady just lady justice over the blindfold victory and once how do you weld the sword of punishment with your eyes deliberately closed in your blind fury for doing justice your might strikes at the innocent party and not the guilty one he wrote he had a tireless enthusiasm to learn the his surrendered his cham- chamber up to outside the co- supreme court preferring to sit in court room to listen and learn or talks with the friends in the court lounge on wednesday when chief justice of india dy chandrachur recalled nariman as a giant intellectual a downcast looking lawyer in the court room said nariman was finalizing his written submission in the in an impending constitution bench case let the let last night the race is over but the work is never while the power to work remains here he is survived by his son former supreme court justice rohinton f nariman and daughter anahita f nariman so friends this is all for today and we will meet from tomorrow onwards with new news articles which are relevant from ucs perspective from the hindu newspaper so till then keep studying and thank you for listening have a good day